What's going on guys? My name is Giovanni Iglesias and this is my YouTube channel. So today's segment is gonna be about I got hand sanitizer. Here for Jonathan. Obviously, you know that there is no hand sanitizer available anywhere. I've checked everywhere you could possibly think of. I've been to CVS, Walgreens, Walmart. I even started asking people while I'm you know, driving my car, while doing Uber, if anybody had any hand sanitizer. I have went even to the hospitals to grab it and there's nothing available. So the whole point is that I ended up getting hand sanitizer and it's right here. See, there you go. Uline hand sanitizer kills more than 99.9% .9 of germs. This should last me for what, about a month? Thank you to the gentleman who helped me out. I got this pretty much off the back of a truck. So this segment is not about that I got hand sanitizer. It's not, sorry. It's actually about coronavirus. What do you guys know about coronavirus? What do I know about coronavirus? So everyone has a different kind of opinion what's going on and how we're all dealing with it and we get that. So we don't need to watch another video about how we have to you know, wash our hands and do what we gotta do to have no contact with anyone. Listen, go get tested. That's the most important thing I can tell you. Go register, it doesn't cost anything here in New York and then go see where your location is. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be going to Jones Beach and that's where they're gonna be doing it. So and maybe I'll have another video for you guys then. But it's really kind of important what I wanted to talk about today. So last week, I was at Costco. I'm a Costco member for God knows how long. This is, I think, since Costco first came out back in the early 90s with my dad. So I was at Costco, and last week, there was almost nothing available. The lines were crazy. There was absolutely nothing you can do to make things better. There wasn't this, so we had to get over that, right? But there was no toilet paper. There was no paper towels. There was shortage on water. Like it was getting to that point. Thankfully, you know, when I did go last week, I stock up for about a month so I can stay here in my apartment without a problem. But I did, however, got the last bag of paper towels. It was one of those like nine packs. So it was one of those uh, nine rolls in one big pack. And uh, honestly, uh, I felt really bad for the people that didn't get there before me. And they were like really upset. So luckily I was at Costco today, about a week later. I honestly wanted to see if Costco's inventory was getting better, which it was today. So I went and I saw it for myself. They did have paper towels. They did have toilet paper. They had water. I mean, not a lot, but still something. The lines, there was really nobody there. I mean, last week it was crazy. This week it's like everyone's home. I mean, I live in uh, downtown Mineola, one of the most busiest areas on Long Island, and it's dead right now. Absolutely nobody. Nobody. It's quiet. <laughs> this is crazy. Everything's being organized over there at Costco. I mean, just from lining up and making sure that no one comes in without getting their carts wiped down with disinfect, which I found that you know really important and very useful. So to anyone that doesn't know that's what's going on at Costco, go to Costco, definitely become a member over there. They have everything what you need, except for this, just not yet. But I did speak to one of the managers and one of the managers was telling me, uh, again, off the record, again, uh, you know, he didn't want to be videotaped. You know, I just asked him pretty much, I'm like, are we going to be short on, on certain supplies that we're going to need? 
uh, are they going to be closing early? More importantly, um, we're going to be are we going to be able to come here and stock up when the store is open? And you know, he was very clear on what he said. You know, he pretty much just told me that they're doing everything they can to make sure that they're not short on anything, especially what happened last week when there was everything was almost gone. And you know, and secondly, he said that they are also they have started a whole trend is what he pretty much explained it um that that they're basically just kind of forming a line of everyone who's coming in that gets their uh their carts wiped down with disinfect which i found it very to be really useful other than that i mean just check out these clips so you guys can see that it's not as crazy as other people think and no one is telling me to film this so that way people can calm down it's actually fine i mean i think it's kind of Great that people are, you know, home right now, you know, just kind of worrying about themselves for once. I mean, it's only been a week. So, I mean, if it does get worse, I mean, at least prepare yourself. It's going to be worse. You see, it's not that bad. I mean, as for now, it's not that bad. So if anything, just keep cool. Know that their stores are still open. Grab the stuff you need to grab before, you know, it's gone again. It's not that crazy outside. But more importantly, go get tested. Make sure you go get tested. Go register, do what you gotta do. Find out the information you have to find out to get to that location. Go get tested. And like they always said, if we don't have this, wash your hands. Wash your hands thoroughly. Don't stop washing your hands. Wash them 20 times a day like I do. But wash your goddamn hands. <clears throat> Just wash your hands. Anyways, if you guys like what you see and you like what I'm providing you, you know, just hit a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you like. It's gonna be more videos like this. I am a producer, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm a DJ. So there's a lot that I want to be covering of that, but also covering what's more important right now, this coronavirus and how it's affecting all my entertainer friends out there, people who are dancers, people that are instructors, uh, event company owners, all these kind of things, DJs, MCs, everyone's infected by well, what's going on. No, There's not a lot of work. So I want to hear what they have to say. That's what this channel is about right now. And I'll be taking you to other adventures shortly. So once again, if you like what you see, hit a like, subscribe, hit the bell if you like. But uh, I'll definitely see you again. My name is Giovanni Iglesias, and this is my channel. Take care.